Hollywood better watch out because I'm creating the next blockbuster hit right here in my office. Welcome back everybody. While we all wait for Sora to bring out their revolutionary video model, other companies are working incredibly quickly to try and bring out the Sora killer before it even makes it out to market. With Runway announcing their Gen 3 Alpha model showing incredible video footage that could be almost as good if not better than Sora, which we will cover here when it releases. And Luma Labs, which have released their own video generator, which is not quite as good as Sora, but it comes pretty darn close. And the best part about it is that it's free and it's available today. That's right, you can log on right now and start creating amazing videos like this. And while it's not as good as what we've seen from Runway and OpenAI, it is certainly very usable and you can even start creating short films with what's available right now. And if they're anything like Udio and Suno, we will see massive improvements coming right after launch. So I'm really excited to see where this technology is going. Now, one of the coolest things about this is how incredibly easy it is to use. When you register and set up at Luma Labs, you'll be presented with a screen like this, and all you need to do is type in a prompt. That's it, nothing else required. Now, as with all AI tools, the proof is in the prompt. If we try out something such as Deadpool beating Spider-Man uh, on Tetris at an arcade, let's see what we get. And we can see here, we've got Spider-Man looking like he's at a casino rather than an arcade. So this is one of the issues with Luma is there is a bit of work to be done in how it follows the prompt. It does a lot of what it wants to do. If you were using Stable Diffusion, this would be like giving it a high CFG. Having said that, however, production of the output is really quite incredible. The movement of the camera shows everything in good fidelity. Nothing is morphing out of shape, and this could very easily be the starting scene of something. If we look at another prompt that I put together, Man Lives Inside a Snow Globe, this follows the prompt a little bit better. And again, it's a really interesting interpretation, although uh, I have to question what Luma is making our man living in a snow globe do. Um, it looks like he is uh, trying to produce yellow snow there. Here's another cool one that I did. I wanted to make a cinematic starting screen for a short film. I put here, create a two second clip of Calm C with a cinematic overlay of the title Chronicles Historia. This is a little YouTube channel that I have where I do AI history videos. And while the Initial presentation is really cool. This is something that could definitely be the introduction of a film. It didn't do so great on the logo. So the text definitely has work to be done. Here's another one with a drone shot panning over a Wild West Chinatown. It's not quite what I had envisioned, but it's certainly once again, good enough to work with. Right, here's another version of that Spider-Man versus Deadpool in an arcade one. This one was taken a little bit more literally and you see them fighting in an arcade. It looks like action shots is something where the Luma model tends to struggle a bit, where there's a lot of movement, a lot of motion, things start to warp in and out. Typically with shots where there's not a lot of movement, like the sea panning shot or focusing on a character with a slow movement, those perform really well. Just to test Luma out, I also did a couple with gameplay footage since this is something that Sora showed off that it did incredibly well. So I just typed in Minecraft just to see what we got and I got something that seems like it's kind of right, but the proportions seem a little bit off. The character looks a little bit big, but uh, you know, again, it's it's fascinating to see the model's interpretation of Minecraft and how everything kind of loads in like you would in Minecraft. I did try and tell it to give me a first person view, but it did struggle with that. While I did mention that the model is free, you get about 30 generations a month with a cap of I think five a day, but that's what it says on the website, but I was able to generate quite a few more than five. However, that puts you at the back of the queue. And while the generation time can be quick, they claim it's not longer than 120 seconds. I have had to wait for up to over an hour since the model is under such high demand, particularly when the US wakes up the demand just kind of spikes and the waiting times take forever. So keep that in mind if you do want to mess around with it. If you do want me to try out any prompts, please come by the Discord and drop them. We've got a channel just for prompt requests on whatever platform you want. 
Now where Luma really shines is when you start to give it images to animate or build videos around. And this is especially powerful when you pair it with Midjourney. So earlier I showed you text to video prompts where we typed in the text and it generated a video based on whatever the model is trained in for that interpretation. Now I have gone and created a bunch of images on Midjourney, the prompts of which are available on the Prompt Crafters database. And I've tested out a few images with and without prompts to see how the model performs. And I have to say, this is my favorite use case for the model. So let's start with this one. This is just a simple holiday picture. I uploaded the initial frame. I gave it the prompt white sailboat with water and you get this really serene holiday look. There's a little bit of strangeness happening here with the characters, but as I said, this is not unexpected for this model. Hopefully we can only expect things to improve from here. Another image I tried, I created this game engine render of Lara Croft on Midjourney, and, and this is basically the same prompt I typed into Midjourney. I fed it in and this is what we got. It's a pretty cool action scene, although again, weirdness is to be expected. The handgun kind of morphs into this submachine gun and then the action scene kind of cuts to the side and there's a little bit of strangeness there. The head kind of moves weirdly, but if you're making a rough draft of an action scene, this is a great place to start. For this one, I uploaded this product shot image of a perfume and once again, it actually did a fantastic job of kind of giving this slow camera movement and, and keeping the product more or less in focus. You can kind of imagine some dreamy music here and, and kind of the beginning of an ad. We could very easily cut to a woman running through this field of, of flowers and there you go, you've got an ad. Next, I tried this picture of a pink Game Boy. It kept the product in shot this time, which is pretty impressive. It put a little animation on there and the clouds kind of move in the background. This is where the model particularly excels at. If you kind of give it these photorealistic images, it, it does a really good job in panning it and generating small amounts of animations. I found when giving it cartoons, game graphics, anime, that's where it really starts to struggle. So in this example over here, I tried to give it this isometric room and I wanted to have the character walk, walk in. I told him, uh, you know, or, or even just make the lights flicker. I wanted the lights to be flickering in this particular scene. And no matter what, I just couldn't get the prompt to do that. Instead, it just kept trying to animate the chair or put someone in the chair. By contrast, I gave it this image, which looks a little bit more photorealistic. And it was able to give me those flickering lights, the screens kind of moving. There's obviously a TV off camera that's kind of giving it this flickering look. I did tell it no camera movements and it did give me some, but it's very subtle. But again, it's got a very mesmerizing feel, which uh, I love. Here's another one of a train and again, photorealistic. It brings the train in towards me. No prompt on this one. So all the other ones I showed you, we had a prompt. This one, I just fed it the image and it just understood the context and decided to make the train come towards me, right? Here's another marketing product shot. Again, this is really cool. The can kind of loses a little bit of fidelity. The lemons look a little bit better in the background and I don't like that it goes out of focus, but if you could get the can to be a certain color, let's say green, you want to green screen it and you just put in your own product wrapping, you could very easily create product videos between Mid Journey and Luma. This is again, one of my favorites where I fed it in the picture of being in this futuristic train and it just kind of starts taking you through it. If you want to extend the video, you typically would have had to download the video, grab the last frame and then re-upload it to kind of get that extension. Fortunately, the Luma team have built that into the app now. So if you want to extend the clip that you like, you just grab extend. It does ask you to feed in a prompt. And what I don't like is that if you did use a prompt previously, it doesn't pre-fill it. And if you didn't copy it, you need to go back out, copy it and then repaste it. But in this case, since we didn't use a prompt initially, let's just leave it as is and try and run with it. And so unfortunately, when you're extending a clip, it looks like you do need a prompt. So let's go ahead and run that. While it's running, as I mentioned earlier, generation times are pretty quick, but because Luma's kind of exploded in popularity, there's not really another video model that's been made available to the public that competes with this, since both Runway and Sora have not released yet, they've just made announcements. Traffic is at an all-time high, and you could find yourself 
waiting for a while in the queues. Again, I find that if you're running things off US peak times, the wait times are a lot better, but even on a paid subscription, I've had to wait for upwards of an hour, which is probably the most frustrating thing about the platform right now. And there we go. After a bit of a wait, we finally got it. And here's the extended version. So when you extend it, it will take the original clip, it'll take whatever it's generated and put it together. So you don't really need to take it into a video editor. It's kind of all there. In this case though, it seems like it forgot to open the door and we just kind of go through that glass. I do wonder though, now that we have futuristic train carriage, if we go back and extend the original one and add in door opens, what might happen? And there we have it. After once again waiting for a bit, we have the second variant of the extension. And while we did tell it to open the door, it technically does. Uh, it's still not quite perfect. And this is the struggle with these prompt based only AI models. It's left up to the model to interpret what you want. Hopefully soon we'll get some features such as what Runway has where you can specify certain elements or directions of what you want things to move in. We can elevate this further by going into 11 labs and actually generating some sound effects. So I did that here and I quite like, I quite like this one. So now you do actually need to go into a video editor. It would be great if you could also here within Luma, just upload an audio file or even have them connect directly to the 11 labs API and just type in what you want and give you a outputted clip with the audio put together. If you guys actually find this interesting and would love me to make a video where I just put together a short film where we do the storyboarding, we come up with the video elements, the audio sound effects and so on, please let me know in the comment section below. I think that would be a really fun video. It might be pretty long though, we could be at it for an hour, so I might do it as a live stream instead. Let me know, video, live stream, interesting, yes, no. So what did you guys think? Is this a huge step forward for AI video generation? Are you gonna be using Luma? If you are, please come by the Discord and share your projects. We always love to see what stuff you guys are working on. And the community there is fantastic. If you have any questions, if you need any help, either myself or someone will have an answer for you. If you wanna see the stuff that I'm creating, I will post some of them as YouTube shorts, but I really post most of my creations on Instagram. Please follow me there at Endangered AI. And if you find that particularly valuable, please check out promcrafters.co where we have an amazing prompt database mostly mid journey, but we are starting to fill it up with stable diffusion as well as other platform prompts. And we have it all categorized and organized. So it's easy for you to find a starting point for whatever it is that you're trying to create. We'll probably start to add in some Luma ones as well. So if you have anything that you find particularly useful and you want to contribute, once again, please let us know in the discord. Finally, if you want to support the channel, please come by our Patreon and check it out. I have some exclusive content in there, including exclusive access to the Prompt Crafters database for anybody above a certain tier. Your support is incredibly helpful and makes it possible for me to create these videos. Thanks to everybody who's already a supporter. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thanks, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.